ready to pick the mushrooms? And berries, too? <laughs> you two go on without me. I fear I'm a bit too tired for an adventure today. <laughs> but it looks like the little one's all ready to go. <laughs> Peter, why don't we deliver the mushrooms and berries we pick to the people in town? Because most of them don't have time to go to the woods. Great idea. And why don't we ask the Turbozors for help? Let's go! Fantastic. You can count on the Turbozors all the way. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let's go pick some mushrooms and berries. Can you believe it? There's enough to feed the whole city. Check out this cool-looking mushroom I found. I wanted to eat it, but of course I didn't because it's not for me. First of all, Jerry, the fly agaric is not for eating. And second, we need to build a warehouse to store and keep our harvest safe. Good idea, Bull. But first, I think we should make a building plan. This will be the conveyor belt. This will be for packaging, and this will be for loading. Everyone clear? All clear. This is where you all come in. We're going to need logs, rocks, and tree branches. Chuck and I will build the foundation. <laughs> Thor and Unky, you build the walls and the roof. Uh -huh. <sighs> go, go! Turbozors! And in the meantime, we'll keep watch over the mushrooms so that no one even thinks about eating them. Impressive warehouse, everyone. And now we can move on to packaging, and before you know it, we'll be ready for delivery. But how will we get them to everyone in town? Not to worry, Katie. That's a task for Jerry and Joe. Enough already! How will we carry them all? I said that's too many! What are you thinking? You can't be serious, Jerry. The baskets need to be filled to the brim. Yes, but I'm the one who has to fly to town and carry that heavy load. Let's see who gets there first. Good luck, guys! We believe in you! Ah, la 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 Ha! It looks like I'm way ahead of Joe. Plenty of time to rest for a refreshment. What happened, Jerry? Do you need help? Oh, no, no! I'm just checking to make sure that none of these mushrooms are the fly agaric. But you know that the fly agaric is red with white polka dots. Now, Catch up. Uh, so much for being ahead. Uh, uh, wait, wait for me! Mushrooms and berries? From the woods? Oh, what a nice surprise. Thank you. Ah. Huh. Shoo, shoo! Don't you know I'm in a rush? Uh, yeah. You're welcome. 
It's a miracle. It's raining mushrooms. That's no miracle. It's the fast and reliable delivery of forest gifts from me to you. Enjoy yourself. I've got to rush to get home before Joe does. Thank you, Joe. I confess, I was rushing to beat you home, and look what happened. No one loves to race more than I do, but sometimes it's better if you take your time. When you do a job, don't rush and make sure you do everything carefully and correctly. Now, let's go home. Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Turbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in fiber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. <sighs> For an evenly distributed tan, expose your whole body. You're evenly blocking the whole sun. Nothing is being distributed on me but a bunch of sand. But how could I block out the sun? Chuck, please stop looking at the sun. Have you completely forgotten what happened the last time? What exactly happened last time? <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Good job burying yourself in the sand. Today would be great for swimming. Too bad we don't have a big diving board, though. If we swam here, we would need a rescue tower and a lifeguard in case someone needed help. Hey, guys! I'll be lifeguard. I'll climb the tower and huh? keep lookout. Help me! Help me! Fear not! There's no need to panic because... <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it seems our lifeguard needs a lifeguard. <laughs> For your information, I always start rescues lying down. It's settled. Let's work together and build two towers. One will be for diving, the other will be for rescuing. We need to do a really good job. That way, people from the whole city could swim here. Then I better get ready to rescue them all. What should we use to build the towers? I say we build them out of stones and fallen trees. That way, we'll clean the forest, too. Go, go, Turbozoars! Bull and Chuck, gather the stones. Thor and Unky, you'll gather the trees. Then we'll convert them into logs. Jerry? My job will be to make sure that everybody is working safely. Listen up! Who knows the most important part of both a rescue tower and a diving board? <laughs> the very most important part of a rescue tower is the lifeguard. Well done, Jerry. So then for a diving board, it has to be the diver. Not quite, Chuck. Huh. What is a diving board's most important part? Water! <laughs> <laughs> Attention swimmers, there's no swimming past the buoys, and no matter what, no one is allowed to sneeze. Jumping first. Uh, right now I really need some exercise. Uh, same with me. <laughs> I'll show you what to do. Watch closely. 
And that's how it's done. We can do that too, you know. Right, Thor? Uh, right, Anki. But maybe Chuck should go before us, or Bull. But we're way too big. You guys ought to go first. There's nothing to fear because Jerry the lifeguard's here. Well, thank you, Jerry. I guess it's better than nothing. Anki, I need you to be sure to let me know when we get to the top. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I closed my eyes at first, too, but then I remembered that we're powerful turbosaurs. Right, Thor? Uh, uh, you're right. It's not that bad with your eyes open. Come down. You don't have to jump. But we turbosaurs are not afraid of anything. Uh -huh. Just count to three for us. And one, two, two three! three. Guess what, guys? I filmed it all! That was totally amazing! Aw, oh, I'm glad they're safe, but I really wanted to rescue someone. It's a pity that none of us need help with swimming. Climbing might tire us out, and if so... Then I can save you, right? Today's the last day it's showing. Let's go, sis. Come on, I know you want to see this movie. Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Oh man, why not? Huh? huh? <laughs> That's our reason. We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We're just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here. We can't do anything fun. Hmm. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks, that's awesome. No, no, tiny human. <laughs> Florian. <laughs> oh, gracious, what now? in my garden. I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh, oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the turbo doors. <laughs> Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Huh? Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them. We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbo Zors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh, 
Fiddlesticks. Looks like I'll need a new tire. so happy. One car delivery complete with tiny human inside. Huh? Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too. A whole new car? Hello? You must help. My car has been stolen. Oh, I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day. Major road work has begun on a large section of Federal oh. Highway. As a oh. result, all roads have significant delays. <laughs> Hey, Grandma, what's going on? I have an awful toothache. It seems like you need to go to the doctor. Uh, I missed the bus, and it was just announced that there's citywide traffic jams. I'd never make it in time. Don't worry about it, Grandma. We'll get you there in time. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And that one's not so great. But it's also not so bad. Huh. You have a real gift. Our grandmother needs help. Huh? We have to get to the city fast so she can see a dentist. We can get you there quickly and with style. Huh. I can navigate traffic from above. Okay, let's go. What's this? Huh? <laughs> so, heading to the city. My, my. And who will be driving the car? That's a good point. Who will be driving the car? Not to worry, Grandma. This is a self-driving automobile. Modern technology is just amazing. Oh. another route. Follow me. <gasps> what's all this? Well, what seems to be the problem? I couldn't see this from over there. <clears throat> but there's still no problem. We just need to get reinforcements. I told you, Katie. Cars are backed up all over. We can't pass. Oh. Please don't worry, Kay. It'll be all right. Get down. You're going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> We've got problems. Traffic and a gigantic pit and Grandma's tooth. 
Listen, guys. We need your help. Go, go, Turbozors! Bull, first you'll smooth out that pile of dirt. Thor, then you'll dig a trench. Chuck, we need you to clear this pipe from the road and stick it in the trench. Unky, we'll need you to place the concrete slabs on the pipe. Let's do it! My dears, my one-of-a-kind honey cake. Hooray! <laughs> that was one spectacular dentist, right? Mm -hmm. My tooth pain is completely gone. That car was just such a delightful shade of pink. Hello? Hello? Are you there? I would like you to send a self-driving car tomorrow. The pink one, please. Hello? Hello? What? Could have eaten two of them. Easily. I could eat three. No, no way you could eat three pineapples. I could. With enough time. A week, maybe. Too bad there was only one. It was delicious. Huh? What? Delicious? What now? Pineapple. Our grandma bought one. It's a vegetable or a fruit. Pineapples, yeah. a fruit indigenous to South America, grown in warm climates. Some of us like to read. I want to try a pineapple. Oh, me too. Yeah, we'd like to try. Sorry, there's none left. Where'd it go? We ate it. A tragedy, none for the hungry dinos. I have an idea. We couldn't eat the tip of the pineapple. Maybe if we bury it, we can grow another pineapple plant. Just grow one? Genius! Let's plant one right now! But we can't grow one here. It's not the right climate. <sighs> we'll make the right climate. Huh? It needs heat and lots of water. Wait, we'll build a greenhouse. Huh? Huh? <sighs> This is the greenhouse of King Leopold II. We'll make that. That's pretty sizable. So what? Mm -hmm. We've got dinosaurs <laughs> to help. What about these statues? Oh, Chuck can do that part. He'll make <laughs> a beautiful statue. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fooling around. We don't need statues. <gasps> We'll make this old style, but with modern materials. We'll need metal pipes and some glass and... Where do we get it all? There's a construction site. They finished building a really big place. And I just know there's some debris left over. That's right. Grandma was complaining. She said they'd never clean up their mess. We'll clean it up and make a greenhouse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go, go, Turbozors! Quite interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm? Oh. 
へえはい。